Hey, it's Diamond Dish with D. That's me. Thank you for going this video and making yourself a priority. I am Denise. It is Wednesday. A little bonus video for you today. I woke up with an epiphany and I thought I needed to share it because it might help somebody. Now, as you know, I've been tra I transitioned to calorie and macro counting in the last month versus Weight Watchers. And I've learned a lot of different things. And also what I wanted to share was when you have a lot of calories versus a limited number of points, you tend to eat things that you wouldn't normally eat because you wouldn't have the points for it, but you definitely have the calories for it. And for me, one of those things I started having was specialty um, tea drinks, like a from Starbucks, let's just say. I had an oat milk lavender matcha latte. I've had from Duncan the energy drink, sparked energy it's called, and they range from 130 calories to 230 calories, depending on the drink. And for me, I could afford that because I have close to 14 to 1500 calories to consume. So I definitely could fit those in. So I was having them and enjoying them. And then I realized, I shouldn't say I realized, I've noticed um, in the last two since Easter probably, that I have just been increasingly hungry, like just peckish at weird times and just, and like for no apparent reason. And it's like, and I can't stop myself from grabbing something. And you know, it is hard because you, like, you, it's hard to control that, that when you have that, uh, that angst. So I, and the scale has been kind of, you know, up a little bit, kind of the same. I haven't lost in a few weeks. And I was kind of like, geez, I know I've been eating more and I just, you know, and I don't know why. And I keep saying, well, don't worry, you have the calories for it. You have the calories for it, which it's most times I do. But what I realized this morning when I got up, and this just was just like an epiphany this morning, I thought to myself, oh my gosh, it's the sugar, Denise. I've said before in many videos, I feel like I'm a sugar addict. I feel like sugar is one of those things that just drives me insane. I think I was having a I thought to myself about sugar substitutes this morning and how they've been getting a bad rap. And people are saying, because they had that thing come out a while ago about, oh, this causes heart this. this and I've seen many studies after that where it said that, first of all, that study wasn't done for that. Number two, it's never been talked about again. And number three, you'd have to consume a crap ton for those effects to happen. It's kind of like people like, you know, you can sit there and say, well, this does this. Well, it does if you have it in it like extreme excess, you know, but we're talking about, you know, the amount that I have of, now not that I gave up monk fruit or um, stevia or trivia, just that I was just adding, you know, sweetener back, you know, when you go to storage and it is just like either a cane sugar, regular sugar, you know, stuff like that. I didn't care because I had the points and calories for it. But I realized that, oh my gosh, that is maybe could be what causing your cravings. Like I've said this before, I consider myself a sugar addict. I feel like for me, when I have sh a little bit of sugar, I want more sugar. I had an attack of Steve's chocolates on Saturday last week. I mentioned that in my weigh-in video. No, the live, I mentioned it. And normally I have my little chalk zeros that I have. I haven't touched those because, oh, I have the calories for these. So why not eat these? Because somebody out there said, and I didn't believe them at the time, and I said that real sugar is better than fake sugar. Well, for some people that might be true, but not for me. So I finally said to myself, there's gonna be no more lavender matcha lattes and no more sparked energy drinks. I went to Dunkin' this morning and got a plain iced green tea unsweetened and came home and add my own sweetener to it. Yeah, I just wanted to put that out there because, because you have X amount of calories doesn't mean you should have certain things that you know that just don't work for you. Now maybe sugar doesn't bother you and that's great if it doesn't, but it bothers me. And just because I can doesn't mean I should. See, when I was on Weight Watchers, I couldn't afford to have a lavender oat milk matcha latte for 14 points. I couldn't afford to have the sparked energy drink for probably, it's probably 11 or 12 points. That's weird. So I wouldn't have it. So there in a, in a way is where points is a good thing because it steers you away from things you can't afford. I couldn't, my point budget would not allow for it. So if it doesn't allow for it, I can't have it. So I didn't. But because I have all these X amount of calories, 
I can fit it in a little bit better. So that's the slippery slope when you're counting calories is you can fit more crap in. And I think there is why points for certain foods are higher. I'm not sitting there I'm not sitting there saying that that's correct for Weight Watchers to do that, but I kind of understand it a little bit more because would I be paying that amount of points for a drink that often? Nope. Maybe once and tasted it and that'd be it. I certainly wouldn't be going back once or twice a week because, oh, I have, I have all these extra calories to burn off. It's no big deal, you know? And I feel like that's the thing that, that that's the slip of calories. And I think that's why some people might not be successful in calories because you have that attitude and you know, where no food is off limits and every food has a calorie, but you have to watch what that food does to you. So just my little PSA to say, if you're starting counting calories and you're eating regular sugar because you know, you can fit it in and you're finding yourself so hungry. I wasn't this hungry on Weight Watchers. And I wasn't this hungry on Weight Watchers. Yes, I was under eating. But when you eat the right foods, in a sense, not that I, again, I am not sitting there and saying that that's right, but there is a different kind of situation there. There's a different kind of situation when you're eating foods that are lower in fat, lower in sugar, but eating more, do you see what I'm saying? I don't know if this makes much sense to you. It makes a lot of sense to me when I, when I think about it, but it's not coming out the way I want it to come out. But I think, those, not that I'll never have a lavender matcha latte again, because I will, but I'm not going to sit there and make it a weekly thing because I can't, because I'm seeing what it does to me and I cannot have these days where I just want to eat. And that's how it was yesterday. I literally was like, oh my gosh, I couldn't stop. And it dawned on me this morning, that's how I used to be. And I'm thinking, it's the sugar, Denise. That's the one thing that's even in the calorie counting difference. That is the one definite I've brought back is things like that. So I have to rein that in. I have to sit there and if I order that lavender latte, I'm going to have to sit there and order it with unsweetened milk and maybe half of this syrup. At that point, why even bother? Like I said, I make them here and they're totally much better for me. So yeah, maybe I won't be able to go to, to, the, to the Starbucks as much. I'm hoping it's a limited time drink and they'll stop making it. But yeah, I, I literally crave it. And that's the only, and you can see I crave sugar. I was craving those chocolates. I was craving that lavender. I was craving that sparked energy drink because once you, once I get that hit of sugar, it's like an addiction for me. And I've said this before, I am a sugar addict. I have an addiction to sugar and there's, I need to go through detox again. Because once you detox through it, I never, when I was doing my, my thing, I never craved it like I'm craving it now. And I, and it just hit me. I'm like, going, oh my gosh, like I just, it, it didn't dawn on me. And I needed to share that because I don't know if anybody else is going through that. And I, and I couldn't figure out why was I having this affinity for just grabbing food in the last two weeks. I'm like, I'm just like, I'm grabbing good stuff, but still good stuff adds up as well. But I'm sitting like, I'm, and, I, and I was like, I didn't care. Like, especially on weigh-in day. Weigh-in day, the last, I would say, two to three weigh-ins has been bad. It has been bad because of the sugar. And it's back to the old Denise when she first started Weight Watchers, her, her weigh-in day binge. Yeah. And I'm like, God, it's, it's that cycle starting all over again. But at least now that I am like, light bulb went off and I am aware of it, I am definitely cutting it out again. Yes, we are back to our regular standard monk fruit, Trevia, Splenda. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I, I don't I don't have a problem with it. And there, there's nobody out there that has a problem with it, except certain, what's the word I watched a girl, she says certain influencers have a lot to say with no medical background. So yeah, I listen to the scientists. They're the only ones that I follow because they're the ones that sit there and are gonna tell you the truth. You don't need to listen to somebody because it's their agenda to tell you how this, you shouldn't have this and you shouldn't have that. No, you listen to the people with the medical degree. That's the one you listen to. So I hope, I hope that this video helps somebody out there because I, I was heading down a slippery slope and I'm, yeah, I'm still counting my calories. That's not changing. I just need to remember the foods that are good for me and the foods that help me and not the foods that just because I can fit in doesn't mean I should. Just because you can doesn't mean you should.
And that's sad because you'd think, but I guess not everybody has a problem like that I do. It's like not everybody has a sugar issue. So don't feel like just because I've said it doesn't mean you have it. I'm just telling you, I know for me, that's that. As soon as, soon as it hit me this morning, I went, oh, that's it. Oh my gosh. I didn't even like, I just assumed like, you know, I'd be okay with it because I'm in a different place in my life. I'm in a different season of life. Like, oh, you know what? And yeah, that could be stalling my weight loss because I am eating way too much crap because I can. So again, because you calorie count doesn't mean you eat crap. And with weight, with the Weight Watchers points, you don't have enough points to eat crap. Bottom line, you don't. So I feel like I need the best of both worlds and I'm trying to see if I can figure that out. How could I get calories to be as good for me as points was at one point? Because points was good for me at one point. I need to figure that out. Just because I can doesn't mean I should. And just because it could be fit in doesn't mean I should. It should be an option for me. Because you're still on a health and wellness lifestyle. You still want to lose weight. So eating things that might not contribute to that might not be the best option. So I just have to sit there and reevaluate the things that I'm eating. But I just wanted to share that with you and see if that helps anybody. Because like I said, sugar is highly addictive. It is. And I do not get these from when, I, when I'm on my monk fruit and my Splenda, um, Trevia, Allula, any of those. They never give me that that craving like regular sugar does. And this is proof, proof positive. I was like, like a fiend the last couple of days. And now I know why. So we're going to rectify that. So I hope this video helped somebody. And if it did, let me know in the comment section below. If you are new here, welcome. If you're not, hit that subscribe button and join us here at Dish With Thee, where we just talk frank about what goes on in my weight loss journey and your weight loss journey as well. So I talk about the things that might bother some people, might not want to talk about, or people aren't talking about. I don't keep around with the fluff stuff. We get into the down and dirty and gritty here. So if that's something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button. And I will dish with you another day. It is beautiful. Look at that beautiful sun. I will talk to you later, my lovelies. Enjoy the rest of your day.